Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Portal Masters of all ages. It is Brylander with Portal Power TV, and uh, we're playing some Skylanders Ring of Heroes. So, um, as something that I've been doing in my uh, like a video series, I've just kind of been, whenever I can summon a new Skylander, um, I like to just showcase that one Skylander. I like to just show the actual summoning, uh, which kind of shows their magic moment, you know, what we're used to calling it in the console games. Um, and then just show off some of their abilities, uh, list out what their skills are, and even show them a little bit of a battle and so forth, just to highlight that particular one. Also, occasionally when I can awaken a Skylander, I'll usually do a separate video for that as well. So, um, today is March 1st, and the game has officially released worldwide. Uh, most countries have it, but not all. Not all. I did put a video about that uh, before, so I believe Asia right now is not getting it, believe it or not. And um, anyhow, um, by the time you see this video, uh, the game is already out and released. Um, I'm still playing on the Australian server, uh, the Australian Can Canadian server. Um, and I did create, or will be actually creating, um, in another video, a new account on the worldwide or global server. And make sure you check out that uh, because I'll be starting the game from scratch. Uh, for some reason, you're not able to get the game, don't have you know the right device or something like that or... Or just mommy and daddy said no. I don't know. Um, but if you haven't started playing yet, I'll be playing the game from, from the very beginning uh, in a couple videos. Who knows? Maybe even as a live stream. Uh, then turned into an archive video. But in this video, uh, we're going to start by uh, summoning some Skylanders. And let me just show you some of the ones that we've got. Uh, we've got Chain Reaction, Smolder Dash, and Pop Fizz. Uh, this video is all about Chain Reaction. Uh, we do eventually have the ability to awaken. Where do we go down here? Way down the list, I have Blast Zone, which can be awakened, and we also have Wallop, which I can awaken. So we have five videos, five, one, two, three, four, five uh, videos um, lined up for hopefully before the weekend is over. And if I just really get uh, ambitious, uh, we'll be doing some gameplay video um, on the global server on my new account. Um, and we're just, I'm having a blast with the game. I'll also be doing a review of the game uh, for the last two plus months that I've been playing. I'll go ahead and give my official summarized review on what my thoughts are for the game. So that'll be another video as well, hopefully coming before the weekend is over. So a lot of content coming. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Hit the notification bells so you can see where these videos just start dinging and dinging and dinging. But I guess before I continue to run my mouth off, because I've already been talking for almost three minutes already... Um, is we are going to be introducing or talking about Chain Reaction. So here is Chain Reaction. This is what he looks like in his pre-summoned state. They always put it kind of like in a, a grayed out or black and white type uh, stance so you can tell the difference between that versus when you've got someone you know already summoned. But uh, there is Chain Reaction. You can see his um, up in his stats, basically his attack defense. He's got a pretty high HP uh, to start off with. Uh, I have uh, 85 uh, soul stones. It only requires 50 to summon him. So I'll have about 35 extra to be able to maybe level him up a level or two. Um, so that is where we're at with that. Uh, let's go ahead and do the summons. Awesome. Now I meant to uh, go full screen on that. And I normally do. So I apologize. That would have been a lot better. If I had been full screen for that. But uh, we get to see Chain Reaction here. Uh, he is a natural five star. So he is a much higher to begin with. And he is an expert uh, in his class fighting skills. Um, so already we can take a look at his skills. He's got a total of five. Uh, so his first active skill is his Chainsaw Combo. Uh, basically attacking one enemy for one down endurance. It only costs two mana. 15 second cooldown, not too bad. Uh, hopefully some of his um, skills up, will, I think it looks like we can do a negative two, bringing that down to 13 seconds. But it unleashes a fury of slashes with two chainsaws onto an enemy. Um, so, and of course, it looks like we've got a total of 25% uh, additional attack uh, as we skill up that combo or upgrade that combo or skill. Um, his second skill is also an active skill, and it's running with chainsaws. 
Uh, four mana, eight second cooldown. So kind of expensive, but not too expensive. Moderate time on the cooldown, so that's not too bad. Uh, looks like on his fifth level up, uh, you can actually reduce his mana consumption down to three. So if you can manage to power or level that all the way up, um, that could be positive. So it also it ignores the target's defense by 30%. So he could be a powerhouse. You know, if they've got their defense up, even if they're um, beefed up for their defense, uh, he kind of just knocks that right back down. He ignores 30% of it. So third skill, another active. Um, so it's against all enemies, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, it is six mana with only a three second cooldown. So high mana cost, low, low cooldown. But it rains down lightning on all enemies and casts crit rate down um, for one turn. This attack is an additional 20% uh, crit rate, um, additional crit rate for it. So that could be good. And also looks like the attack will add up to 25% more on that. Uh, the fourth skill is on himself. Uh, it's maximum energy. So he gains attack up while using skills when having four or more buffs for one round. So, I guess if he's in a situation where there are four buffs on him, um, I'll have to kind of see how that plays out. So, um, does it look like that's always going to be useful? Oh, pardon me. And then last but not least, you see it does have a leader skill. With 30% chance to grant crit rate up for one turn and when allies evade and attack. Uh, plus, he also has, for each uh, upgrade, uh, plus 5%. So, there's an additional 30% plus 20. So, it'll get to a 50% ch chance that he'll um, grant crit rate up um, as soon as, I guess, the round starts. So, those are pretty good powers. Um, we can power him up. So, like I said, I have enough. Let's go ahead and take that. Make him up to a plus 1. One step closer to evolving him and then continuing to run him all the way up through the levels that's pretty cool all right and let's see where else are we and see to awaken him uh we're gonna need 300 which we don't obviously have um i'm already available to level one of these let's see which one it's probably gonna be his passive yeah we could upgrade that passive if we wanted to at this point but we're not going to we're gonna save that for now and let's see where we're we at so let's go ahead and take him into the adventures. I normally will take a lot of the new Skylanders over here. Take them down to level one to the one edit. Let's take all these extra people off. And take him. Plug him in right there. And just so we don't waste the, the opportunity here, let's go ahead and just grab a couple people and throw them in as spectators so they can gain the extra XP. Alright, well we don't want to auto battle. What am I doing? Off. And start. So we're going to run him in here and see how well he can fare. Well, that didn't do much of anything, did it? Oh wow, what am I doing? Oh, I must be on normal. I bet that's it. It should be on easy. So let's exit that. That probably makes a lot of sense. Yep. All right. This will probably make all the difference in the world. So now we go in here and see if he does any better. We just want to see some of his moves, see him move around. All right. So there's the running with chainsaws. Running with chainsaws. <laughs> so there is chain reaction in the flesh, so to speak. All right. I think that will pretty much do us for the time being for this particular video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to join us in the next one because more than likely we'll be doing either Smolder Dash or Pop Fizz. 
So we will see you in that video. This has been Brylander with Portal Power TV signing off. Take care and God bless.